You guys are quick too. We called Beamner and they're like, oh, we'll be there someday. Yeah. <laughs> well, they get paid for it when we do Yeah, I right. know. <laughs> That's why I'm like, call him. He'll be here. I know. So I'm all like, I was like, we took one there before, so call him. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Probably just one Crazy. You guys okay if I have you in video or not? Oh, no, we don't care. You don't <laughs> care? <laughs> yeah, he was like upset. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a female. It's a red-tailed hawk. Oh, female. And it's it's last year's baby. Oh. So this one would have hatched uh, like last uh, May. Well, actually, they're full grown. Oh. They're, they're full grown nine weeks old. Wow. So when they, oh. before they leave the nest, they're as big as they'll ever get. But the way I can tell it's juvenile, no red tail. Oh, okay. The, the oh, ta- yeah, because yeah. they weren't yeah. sure. Yeah. And the, I was the, like, no, the, it's a hawk. The, ta- the tail is banded. Okay. And the and the and the adult red tailed hawk, the tail is is red down to in, but the tip is got a little band, one band of the tip of it. Oh, Otherwise the tail okay. is all red. Oh. And so what it, what does he hurt Well he uh, right now I can see he's got a concussion. Oh. His eyes are dilated funny. Oh. That's right. See, he's got a concussion. Uh, he's moving his feet, so that's good. That's, that means there's no broken back, because quite often when they'll hit, they break. There's a weak spot right here in the back. That they, when they get hit by a car right there, they get a broken back, and then they have to put it down. Um, he can't it. But this one, I think, is probably going to be just fine. Oh, good. <laughs> so, yeah, he kind of looked disoriented <laughs> for a while. <laughs> yeah, well, we can add this one to the to the rest of the menagerie. He'll probably be with us. You know, for uh, if if there's nothing broken, he'll pr- he'll probably be with us for a week or so. Oh, good. And then okay. and then and then we'll just release him. Oh, great. Just like we do everybody else. Perfect. Okay. Well, thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Thanks for calling. That's so nice. I know. <laughs> I know. I was like, call him. He'll be here. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know. That's what we do is rescue critters. Thank goodness. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> We're glad. We're. Glad. We're about. Yeah, you're moving around a little better. You got yourself a little concussion, don't you, sweetheart? Yeah, pretty little thing. Okay. You're not too skinny. Okay. Oh, got a little concussion. You hit a window, huh? Okay, sweetie. Mm. You should be feeling a little better by morning. I'm not feeling any breaks to speak. Anything broken. Everything seems to be solid. I thought you got a broken feather, but that's not an issue. Huh. Okay. And everything seems to be working, so other than she got herself knocked silly. Other than that, she's okay. So, yeah. Yeah, you got a concussion, poor thing. Okay. 
Hopefully she'll only be with us for a few days. She'll be right here until she gets her balance back. This is my book, Healer of Angels. This is 40 years of wildlife rescue stories and the wisdom of grandparents. What's even more important than me autographing the books is that you get my eagle's autograph as well. And the prophets really help us feed the sick, injured, and orphaned wildlife that we care for. This is all you get off his phone. <laughs> so, like, like I said, this is once completely wild. and, and uh, It's has, beautiful has though, huh? Well, it's the same as the one on the other side of the red-tailed hawk, but it has the red tail. So this is juvenile, it doesn't have a red tail. Okay, so I don't see the tail is barred on the first year, and then after they molt, after their first year, they get the red tail. So, but if you do exactly what I tell you to do, you'll be just fine. Hi, little one. How you doing? Baby. <laughs> okay, sweetie. Okay. You're such a cute little guy. You are, you're such a cute little guy. Okay. Now, he can bite you, but it's a pinch. It's not that big a deal. The feet are what you worry about, that's what's going to hurt you. You can see I can't, I can't even pry them open. And those go through your hand. Uh, you see how dirty they are? Yeah. Okay, there's nothing more infectious. And so if you get one of these planted all the way through your hand, um, there's a good chance that you're going to get a very, very severe infection yeah. from this. And so you don't, don't want to do that. So what I'm going to want you to do is I'm going to want you to hold the bird um, very, very much like this. Have it kind of against your chest with your hand on, on its wing down here. Yeah. And, and your hand around its feet, mm -hmm. and so I'm, I'm going to hand him to you, and I want you to grab him below below my hand. Just take, take your hand, get, get those feet nice and snug. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you've got him right there. Yep. And now you've got a red-tailed hawk in your hand. Yep. And you just turn this direction and turn him loose around. whenever you're ready. You'll be the last person on the planet to this bird. Yep. So why don't we walk over to the block wall? Cool, Dad. Is it scary holding him? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> you're doing great. And whenever you're ready, just throw him away from you. He won't scratch him. No, you just, just throw him away. Toss basically his just whole body hand, both, like with both hands. Just push him away. I'm going to kill you. He was he was flying in the chamber really good. <laughs> Pretty scary, huh? The purpose for the release first is to return the animal back to the wild. That's the primary focus. The second is education. The third is always to help bring awareness to our volunteer wildlife rescue organization. And so people get the opportunity to, to see and to understand um, the work that we do. We could release injured wildlife all day long, and if nobody knows that we release them, and that we cared for them, then we would have a very hard time raising money for our wildlife rescue center.